And we have live team coverage tonight. We begin with KSHB 41 News reporter Caroline Hogan. And Caroline, what have you learned from police? Well, Cameron, just to reiterate what you said earlier, we know tonight there are two victims after a shooting here at North Kansas City High School. As you mentioned, one is in critical condition. The other, a juvenile, is in serious yet stable condition. Now, police behind me are clearing the scene for the most part. They've cleared the school, but from what we heard from them almost two hours ago, we know that this is just the very beginning of their investigation as they continue to look through security camera footage. Take a look at what we saw earlier when we first got here. Here's some Video. Police say it was at the end of the basketball game when shots were fired outside of the school. Deputies working found one victim outside the school, but they didn't specify where they found the other victim. We heard from a man who lives just right across the street from the front of the high school. He was out grilling when he heard all this happen. I didn't think anything really of it until I saw everyone exiting and I saw the looks on their faces and uh, then I knew like okay this might be something bad. We, we want our, our youth to come and enjoy a basketball game and then now we're, we're talking about lives that are uh, altered for, for the worse. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be senseless. Cameron, lots of unknowns this evening, especially with the shooters. We don't know how many there were, who they are, how old they are, or if anyone's in custody tonight. Reporting live in North Kansas City, Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News. A lot of questions that need answers. Thank you, Caroline. Well, KSHB 41 News reporter Rachel Henderson has also been at the scene. And Rachel, you spoke with people who heard those gunshots. That's right, Cameron. Saturday's district semifinal game, it brought out a full house. And for all those people, they talked to me about how as soon as the game ended, that's when the shooting outside happened. It was winding down. Right after the buzzer hit, a guy came in and he just ran into the stands and was yelling, shooter. And like everybody just like got up and ran. We were in the cafeteria and then we're walking out in the large group of people and then we just heard rapid fires. Bop, 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 bop. A witness we talked to says it didn't take long for law enforcement to get there. That's because there were two deputies at the school already working security for the game. We caught up with one family who was safe, but they found damage once they were let outside. The night was not what this girl and her family expected. Out here, somebody shot um, my my mama car, and we can't get out now, so we don't know what to do. But it, it, it was just scary. I mean, it's just a basketball game, you know. I had about three or four fans talk to me about just how frantic it really was. They weren't sure what to do, and they were also getting conflicting instructions on where to go. But ultimately, everyone I talked to is just glad they're safe. Reporting live in North Kansas City, I'm Rachel Henderson, KSHB 41 News. Thank you, Rachel. And again, we want to recap what we've learned so far. Two people, including a minor, were hurt in a shooting as a basketball game between North Kansas City High School and Staley High School was ending. That's according to North Kansas City Police. The shooting happened outside the school building near the field house. Two deputies from the Clay County Sheriff's Office, as Rachel mentioned, were working the game when they heard gunfire. The deputies went outside and found one victim. At this point, we don't know what led to the violence, if there were multiple shooters or how many rounds were fired. A lot of questions here. Investigators are looking at surveillance video to identify potential suspects. And right now, no one is in custody. We'll keep you updated on air and online as we learn more details. If you want to read what we've gathered so far, you can find that on KSHB.com.